Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Painting and Photography channel. This is Toshi Yagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer I shot this image for a long time ago. Two and a quarter reversal film. Well, I got this image I changed to black and white on Adobe Photoshop and then uh, I used the neural filter to make Another AI colorized image. This is it. Compared to original image. This is a reversal film I processed myself to warm up like so. Then uh, this AI colorized image just fix the colors and uh, add some nice skin tone and uh, fix some sharpness and stuff. That's pretty cool. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> then I also I made this pencil drawing type image used filter code find edges on Adobe Photoshop. All right, these are my subject today, and uh, this is my base image to make something interesting illustration type image today. Well, let's get started. Okay, let me see on this image. That's a pretty cool model shot, isn't it? Just a couple headshot. Okay, let me see change blend mode. Pretty sharp, huh? Yeah, yeah, I did it. Just one click to make this kind of interesting expressions. Okay, let's see, from here. This is kind of cool image. Pin light. This is pretty nice. Luminosity. This is pretty interesting too. Well, saddle colors. I may add a little more color on this luminosity effect image. This pin light. I kind of like this. Add some more colors from maybe luminosity effect image or like soft light. Okay, let me see. Okay, leave this pin light effect image. The one group. Then, what if move this original image? This is pretty amber color on this original image. Okay, move this original image. Move up. Move this one up. Very top. Then uh, change blend mode to color. Then let me see. Tone down. Mm, of course, with the amber color, huh? Okay, how about, let me see, change this pin light. Okay, leave this pin light effect. Okay, except this, this original image is so much amber color, so... Let me see if I duplicate this AI color. Then move this one. Go up. Then change to color. So emphasize more AI color the image. Color. Yeah, yes, much better. Because the original image is so much. I I used that uh, 81 filter or something that time. Kodak amber color filter, I think, when I shot. Not that uh, so much long time ago. Well, anyways, okay, I got this AI colored image changed to color. So emphasize some colors of this base color image. Okay, and AI color, add pin light effect. Then I add that one more AI color image, only color information. That's kind of nice. 
even though more emphasize these colors I think so let's see well just leave it this way and uh, as a base image make group this is base image this is base illustration image now I'm gonna add layer white layer okay fill this layer with white now I'm gonna make mask then hide this white layer with drawing to evolve all right this is pretty nice texture brush base illustration image okay now i'm gonna add one more layer for color now same brush this is for outside okay paint this hide this straight line of the outside just pick some colors let's see this one I mean erase some eraser tool and soft brush okay rough color image now let me see i'm gonna add layer to add some colors maybe go for a little big touch yeah i want experience i want to try okay i want to try big adding colors so let's see add one more layer for paint then this one is gradation color image uh, gradation color paint so okay now add mask invert this mask now i'm gonna make window brush texture is evolve to make some big ones maybe okay let me see this texture first okay add color gradation now first go for okay go for blue real shadow color with the soft brush hair brushing to soft brush real saddle color go for first okay then a little more different one the other side change brush I'm using evolve and uh, soft brush two brushes okay on this mask now we have some texture then paint soft brush again make mask I mean uh, make window then paint yeah I kind of like this soft shadow colors pretty nice now I want to darken some this is real nice maybe let me see if i duplicate this gradation color image it was so dark huh maybe i can control the darkness density of this to 
let's see if I change to a little more darken overlay and kind of like a real sad on color so let me see it changed some very interesting we have um, this side later on now it's high hard light effect just a touch well leave it just just a touch okay now i want to see about this original image color going so much amber color let me see if I change this okay and this one is soft light effect a little harsher image but this is pretty interesting original maybe overlay yeah okay now I'm gonna make mask then invert invert mask now I'm gonna hide this with evolve texture then only for models this area big size go for half tone first okay now let me touch up some let me see okay I'm gonna mask I'm gonna touch up this mask all right almost done all right from here from here this is the AI colored image as a base image today now I made uh, add pencil drawing type image change blend mode to pin light to get this illustration type saddle colors image then i add darken colors to add ai colored base image duplicate then change blend mode to color to add some little bit emphasized colors this is the base image for today and uh, I add white layer with mask. White layer with mask. Then I don't like this straight lines so outside of the frame so I add hide straight lines to add paint like so. A little bit bigger the canvas size. Then after that I add color with mask this is color gradation colors then add mask well actually I made mask to add colors to show this way this color then this is real saddle colors so I duplicate this same layer then change blend mode to overlay touch touch more darken maybe around here not much i didn't change it's so interesting change blend mode to control somehow now same mask then last thing i add darken model's face area with the, uh, my original image not ai color image the one i shot with the uh, and a quarter reversal film is so much orangeish color and this overlay effect with mask to darken model's face well that's it for today and uh, i think a little bit uh, yeah a little bit i understand how i add colors with the gradation mask texture 
I kind of understand, start to understand gradation color add with the texture of the brush. I think. Find out some. Well, thank you for watching my video and uh, I hope you're gonna find some kind of idea for your creative work and I really appreciate for you guys support and uh, you guys have a nice day and see you next time. Bye now. Ciao. Good day. Thank you.